Once upon a time, there was a young monk who had just joined the monastery. He was eager to learn and was always asking questions of the senior monks. One day, he asked his teacher, What is the sound of the bell? The teacher smiled and replied, I will show you. The teacher led the young monk to the temple bell and asked him to strike it. The young monk struck the bell with the wooden mallet, and the sound echoed through the temple. The teacher then said, Now strike the bell again, but this time, don't strike it with the mallet. The young monk was confused, but he struck the bell again, this time with his hand. The sound was much softer and shorter than before. The teacher then asked, What is the sound of the bell? The young monk hesitated for a moment before answering, The sound of the bell is the sound of the bell. The teacher smiled and nodded. You have understood the sound of the bell, he said. The young monk was puzzled. But what does that mean, he asked. The teacher explained, The sound of the bell is not in the bell itself, nor is it in the striker. It is in the space between them. When you strike the bell, it vibrates, and the sound arises. But when you strike it without the mallet, the sound is still there, but it is much softer. The sound is always there, but it is up to us to hear it. The young monk nodded slowly, understanding dawning on him. He realized that the sound of the bell was not just a physical phenomenon, but a state of mind. The bell was just an object, but the sound it produced was something deeper, something more profound. From that day on, the young monk listened to the world around him with new ears. He heard the sound of the wind rustling through the leaves, the sound of the water flowing in the nearby stream, and the sound of his own breath. He understood that the sound was always there, but it was up to him to listen. Years later, the young monk became a teacher himself, and he taught his students the lesson he had learned from the sound of the bell. He taught them to listen, not just with their ears, but with their hearts and their minds. And he reminded them that the sound of the bell was always there, waiting for them to hear it. The lesson learned from this story is that there is more to the world than what we perceive with our senses. The sound of the bell is not just a physical phenomenon, but a state of mind. It is a reminder that we need to listen deeply and be fully present in the moment to truly appreciate the beauty and wonder of life. This story teaches us that we should cultivate a sense of mindfulness and awareness, and strive to be more attuned to the world around us. By doing so, we can gain a deeper understanding of ourselves and our place in the world. Thank you for watching. May you have peace and prosperity, and may all your wishes come true.